friends. Welcome back to the Taylor Made Style channel. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm so happy you're here. Today we are going thrifting together for fall and winter Zara dupes. I, like so many other people, love Zara's items they sell, especially love the styling they do on their website, but I really try not to, of course, buy fast fashion. Everyone slips up, <laughs> we're all human, and I feel like it's about those little things that you are doing to try to combat that. This video is by no means um, you know, shaming or guilting anybody for purchasing fast fashion or purchasing from Zara, but I want to be a source um, for education and inspiration for you guys that you can go to the thrift store or Etsy or eBay or Depop, wherever you can find secondhand clothes and find either things that are from these retailers or are basically dupes of these items. I have done some research. I have all of these photos that I've screenshot from Zara's website and I was scrolling for about an hour this morning just soaking in all the inspiration. So I'm going to take you guys along to the thrift store, show you some pieces that I find, and then we're gonna come home and style them in the way that Zara kind of styles them on their website. I'm gonna put in a few inserts here and kind of talk through some of the things that I'm seeing from them before we head to the thrift store so I can give you guys some inspiration and kind of you know thoughts of what I will be looking for. The first thing I really noticed was the this very slouchy menswear vibe. I mean, so many of their coats and blazers were labeled menswear or men's style. So there's this huge um, trend of menswear right now. They're really hitting it hard and I love what they do. Kind of this oversized um, blazers or trousers or jackets, um, trench coats, all of that stuff. Another major trend I saw was this resurgence of 80s fashion. So they have a lot of like puff sleeves, metallics, like big bows. There's definitely just a resurgence of a lot of like vintage fashion trends. And then of course, something I've been loving, this prairie style um, kind of balloon dresses. They're basically dresses that kind of, or skirts that kind of just go out and they're like tiered. Their styling is just what gets me. Boots, the layering with the turtlenecks and kind of that slouchy turtleneck over the trousers or the turtleneck layered under the slip dresses. I really just love how they're styling some of these pieces. Like this incredible dress where they just tied up the belt instead of actually putting it through the clasp. I think that is just such a genius way of making a plain black dress really interesting. I have all my inspiration on my phone and we are just gonna go thrift these Zara dupes and then put together some incredible outfits to inspire you guys to do the same. So let's go. but that's okay. We'll go check skirts and see if we can find something there. If not, there's plenty of other items um, to be found. I actually did find a few like tops that were interspersed in the dresses somehow, so I'm gonna quickly show you those. This is just a little white window pane kind of linen-y top, and I thought that would be great for layering. Organza was something I was seeing all over, just like organza tops, and I found this vintage um, top and it has these really cool sleeves. I don't love this part of it, but I definitely think we could do something interesting with these sleeves because they're kind of epic. A pleather black trench. It's a large, so it kind of gives that oversized vibe. And I like that it has the double breasted buttons here. I found this Who What Wear silky um, green snakeskin top and I really love this collar. I saw a lot of the high collar. I think if we added some sort of like black kind of pussy bow to this, it would just give it even more kind of that Zara style. So I think next I'm gonna hit the skirts so maybe I can scratch my dress itch partially and do something with a cool um, oversized sweater over it and hopefully we find something good. A 
little bit of black in the skirt section. A great black, like long pencil skirt. I think this will be just a great piece to layer sweaters on top of. One thing I was seeing a lot of was uh, midi skirts or mini skirts with lots of pleating. They would pair long sweaters over. So this one has a really nice um, little pattern to it and it has all these little pleats in the front. So I'm imagining having a sweater, you know, hang down and just have the little pleats sticking out and some great like slouchy boots. This kind of plays on their new like little holiday collection. It's kind of a tapestry pattern, but it definitely has a nice like sheen to it. I'm picturing this with something um, kind of crazy on top, like a pattern smash or maybe that organza top with like a black sweater vest on top and a big pussy bow blouse. Last I picked up, this was kind of just inspired by that prairie vibe I was seeing. It's like a good bitty length. So even if I wore a little lower on the hips to give it even more length, I can pair a sweater over top of it to just kind of complete the look. Oh wait, and then I found an amazing suit. It's a vintage Pendleton suit and it is a size 16, which is probably like a modern day 10 or so. So still big on me, but that's what I'm looking for. Oversized fit. I'm definitely even gonna check the men's section for suits, blazers, trousers. And then it has, of course, the matching trousers. Very slouchy menswear vibe. So I'm really, really excited about this. I'm gonna knock out some of these trousers now um, before I head over to the sweater section. Giorgio Armani high-waisted pistachio trousers. They have the cuffed bottom. Again, this gorgeous like pistachio color. They are a high waist. I'm so excited about these. A few trousers I got. I actually picked up a bunch that I found these kind of oversized ones and they're kind of like a really dark green with this plaid design to them, which I also thought was pretty cool. And even though they're not high waist, which is what I typically look for, um, they're gonna sit low and I'm gonna be able to put, you know, a sweater on top. These I thought were really cool. They're gonna have a great paper bag waist to them. They're super wide and like comfy. The last pair I found are just a pair of Banana Republic kind of um, trousers and they're cropped. So again, great to pair with food and they're gonna sit a little lower on the waist, which is what I'm looking for. Again, that just slouchy, menswear vibe, um, kind of grungy. And I also did a quick perusal of the lingerie to look for slip dresses because you saw a lot of slip dresses with turtlenecks underneath or layering over top. So this is just an Oscar de la Renta, um, very moody floral kind of slip dress. It has this gorgeous lace detailing here. I love the florals. And again, I think this would be so good to kind of grungify a little bit, do it with the combat boots and a black turtleneck underneath. It would look so cool. This top isn't really my style, but I just thought the sleeves were just so reminiscent of something that Zara would sell. One of my biggest tips when you are thing is to always check the putback rack. I've already checked it three times while I've been here and each time I have found new amazing things. It's basically like an already curated rack of items that other people have pulled um, so I always find good stuff and this time did not disappoint. I found some really great items that I was searching for. This is a 90s little express mini skirt. Um, it is quite short, but since it's one of the lower waist ones, I think it'll work really well for what I'm thinking with the sweater over top. I found this great little midi skirt and it has all these little button details going down the side and a little slit. And this is the perfect like prairie style skirt I was searching for. My girl Liz Claiborne always coming through with the cool stuff. This is just a very neutral turtleneck sweater and it has all this great little like patchwork color blocking and it goes striped onto the back. Zara is definitely making stuff similar to this. And I think this would just be so good with a pair of slouchy, maybe khaki trousers or something. I didn't even have to go in the racks to hit up that stuff. I literally just found it on the footback rack, so score. <laughs>
Holy cow. I know this is not on theme, but this is a vintage kimono and it is gorgeous. Look at the back of it. I don't think I would ever wear it, but it is so cool. Needless to say, I found so many good sweaters and tops. This one is actually a Zara top. And some vintage stuff in here. Just some really, really cool pieces. I, think I found a lot of tops to show you guys, so I'm just gonna quickly show you like my top three. This vintage cardigan is incredible. It has all this embellishment on the shoulders, and this is basically an exact replica of one of the Zara sweaters they just put out. I was so excited when I found it. This is super basic, but I love their styling of putting sweatshirts under blazers and just like that, you know, a lot of layering that they do. So I picked up just this basic black hoodie that I could layer with because I actually don't have one. So I think this will be perfect just to kind of create that layered look with. The last piece I'm really excited about is this vintage top and it has this kind of, um, shiny pattern to it and I like that it has this really high neck which is a lot of what I was seeing and I think if I add a really cool big bow to this it's going to be epic we're gonna go try on it and I'll show you the pieces that I love Here is the first few items I put on. This linen window pane top and I love how oversized it is. And then these trousers with the kind of matching window pane design to them, they have two kind of colors, check patterns going throughout here. And I love how like slouchy they are. That's exactly what I was going for. Here is that Liz Claiborne color block sweater, and I love it. It's actually super comfortable too. I paired it with these Pendleton cords, but I'm not loving the fit of them, but I'm definitely loving this sweater. Here are those crazy Banana Republic trousers. And again, I like that they're a little loose, so they're kind of low slung. They look amazing with these combat boots. And then I paired the green, snakeskin top with the high neck and I love this as a look. I definitely think it needs some sort of like outerwear piece but this is like exactly what I was looking for and I like that they're like a little bit cropped too so they can kind of show off like a fun sock. How incredible is this black belted trench and I love how like oversized it is. It has a little bit of a shoulder pad here. I like it as a top almost like with nothing underneath. You kind of wear it like that with the boots and I still have on those pants. This is so good. I'm not completely solid on the sweater, although I do love the cuff, and this color is quite nice. And I do, okay, maybe I do like it. I do really love this skirt, and again, it's high waist, so you could totally wear it, you know, with something tucked in, but a lot of what I was seeing, you know, is the oversized sweater going over the skirt, and then probably doing like a higher boot, but I love both of them taking the oversized trend way too seriously. I think this is a little bit too big. How precious is this sweater with all the embellishments? Has a little puff sleeve. It does have some shoulder pads, which I like. It, it plays into that 80s vibe. And then I paired it with the men's trousers, which I don't really love the combination of them, but I love them separately. They are vintage, which I like because they sit a bit higher. So I always look for like vintage men's trousers because they always just work better. This is a great burgundy kind of mock neck. It's actually just an H&M sweater, but I love the um, kind of structure of the sleeve, how it kind of hangs there. And then on the bottom, I have the leather skirt. I would totally wear it just like with a top kind of billowing over. So you get the length of the skirt. It's not like so many, but it looks really good together. And I'm imagining this with like some taller boots, maybe like another kind of outerwear piece on top to kind of complete the look. But I think these are both amazing. I am obsessed with this Oscar de la Renda slip dress. 
how good is that and it looks so good with the combat boots i would definitely pair it with a turtleneck underneath i would probably do like black underneath this is the perfect fall winter slip dress these are all the pieces that i have pulled that i like and i'm just trying to narrow down which ones i should get i just sat here for 10 minutes trying to narrow it down and it's so hard i'm gonna do a really quick haul of everything i'm getting and then of course after this i'm gonna take everything home and style up zara inspired looks based off of my zara dupes that i've picked up at goodwill so i'm just getting this basic black hoodie but i just think this is so essential to create some of those really menswear looks had to get the oscar de la renta slip dress with this moody floral it's so good the embellished sweater just because i felt like there was so much from zara that they recently put out for the holiday season i think that was embellished and sequined and sparkles and all that stuff so i needed some piece with you know a little bit of pizzazz to it the super mini leather skirt that i'm going to pair probably a sweater and kind of um, slouch it over. The amazing Banana Republic kind of baggy trousers, which I loved. And then the Who What Wear silky green snakeskin top with this high neck. I love that. And I'm definitely thinking I want to add some sort of extra volume to the neck. So I think I'll probably do like a big bow or something. That is all I am picking up. Gonna take you guys home now and we will style everything up. Here is the first look, and I'm loving it. It's grunge, it's moody, it's floral, it's kind of feminine, and it's totally Zara. So the first piece I picked up at the thrift store was this amazing Oscar de la Renta slip dress. It's actually a nightgown, so it's very lightweight. I love all of the floral and the lace details on it. I wanted to give it a little bit of a grunge vibe and layer it for fall and winter, so I paired a black turtleneck underneath. Just kind of adds another just layer of goodness cinched in the waist with this black belt. On the bottom, I added a lot of grunge vibes with these combat boots and my fishnet socks. And last, I added a black kind of oversized beanie that just sticks up. I saw a lot of these beanies and their styling and um, I did see a look exactly like this, but again, I'm just pulling kind of inspiration from all of their little styling vignettes and pulling together something that I think is very Zara inspired. And then last, I just paired these vintage little pearl dangly earrings to add just a last little feminine touch. And I am just over the moon with this outfit. I'm going to add one more piece for layering and grab my houndstooth kind of oversized coat to go over this for a little bit of a pattern smash and to just add that one more little Zara touch to it. Here is the jacket thrown on top, the great houndstooth. You saw this in my video last week and love that it kind of went from a very preppy vibe to a very grunge sort of vibe. I popped the collar just to give it a little bit of style and that is the first look. Here is the second look. Just the drama of this bow alone is incredible. So I created my look around the green snakeskin top kind of with this high collar and I loved this top but I definitely felt like it needed a little bit more like zhuzhing to kind of give it that more Zara vibe. So I saw a lot of those big bows so I thought why not add just a little bit of you know, pizzazz to this and put a big bow on here. This is just a sash that I have from another top and I just tied it around my neck and kind of squished it under the high neck on this gorgeous top. I left it untucked over a pair of men's Levi's. These are some of my faves. Again, touching on that menswear vibe. They're a little bit baggy and capped it off with my suede point toe boots that I also thrifted. I left it untucked because I liked how they styled their snakeskin print top on their store. And again, I'm trying to style like how Zara would style everything. So did the snakeskin print top and just kind of Zara fight it a little bit. I topped it off with these 80s brushed gold crescent clip-ons and that is the second look. Here is the third look with that darling 
80s embellished sweater. It is just gorgeous, all of the beading, pearls, sequins. But I really loved how Zara really took this sweetness and added a lot of edge to it. They made it really kind of grungy. They actually paired theirs with a pair of leather black pants. I don't own any leather black pants, so I just put some black trousers but again I feel like it definitely you know embodies what their styling is going for I've kind of pushed them down on my waist a bit to kind of add a little bit more of that slouchy vibe again went with my combat boots um because that's how they styled it but I just love how sweet this sweater is and then they paired it with the black turtleneck just these really kind of hard edgy pieces that they pair it with to kind of take away from that sweetness and just kind of give it a really great contrast. That is the third look with the embellished sweater and I'm just, I'm ready to like go to a rock concert in this. Outfit number Four. And the piece I thrifted and I styled the outfit around were the slouchy Banana Republic trousers. They're a little bit big, which is what I was going for to kind of recreate those menswear trousers that I saw that I loved. I love how kind of baggy they are, that are a little bit cropped. And again, I, I'm just wearing these shoes for every single look, but I love how they look and everything. I paired these little fishnet socks underneath to add just another little layer. Under this blazer is this gorgeous thrifted fisherman sweater. It's very chunky. It's very oversized. I love this cream color. Um, and you were seeing obviously a lot of just really chunky knits from Zara. And then to top off the whole look, I added this boyfriend blazer that I got from Buffalo Exchange. And I like that it has another little layer of um, plaid on here and just a little hint at this red kind of stripe going throughout it. And again, threw on the kind of oversized beanie to just give it one last little Zara touch and that is the fourth look i think this one might be my favorite because it is so comfy and just it looks so cool and effortless but just really amazing and totally totally zara there is the fifth look this is honestly one of my favorite suits i own i did thrift it too but the piece i styled the suit around was the black cropped sweatshirt and i think a black cropped sweatshirt is something that everyone needs to own now myself included because this is the first sweatshirt i've ever bought with the intention of doing like a stylish outfit with it most of the time i just wear sweatshirts for lounging which is awesome because this basically feels like i'm wearing loungewear especially because these pants are so oversized i took this black crop sweatshirt that i got for like five bucks i did cinch it a little bit with this thrifted black belt with the gold detail. I like that kind of pop of color and adds like kind of, again, that 80s vibe to it. And this is definitely a very 80s suit since it's so oversized. On the bottom, I paired my block point toe little nine west suede shoes. And I love how it's kind of bunching up at the bottom because these are so kind of oversized. And then I obviously had to add a little touch of me to it. So I paired my little gaudy 80s chandelier earrings to just give it a little touch of glam but I'm obsessed with this it is so good and it is so Zara here is the final look the last Zara dupe I'm styling is this vintage probably 90s early 2000s pleather skirt from Express I decided to kind of do a little bit of like a preppy collegiate vibe with it and paired this vintage sweater over it and it's very oversized and long so it definitely helps cover up this low waist that's happening here um, and just add to that kind of slouchy vibe 
vibe. I actually tucked in a corner of it into the pocket here. This is a vintage sweater I got from Buffalo Exchange. Under the sweater, I wanted to add a little bit of that prairie vibe since I didn't find too much of that when I was thrifting, but I still wanted to touch on that a little bit because I love that trend. I added my little peasant style top with the lace mock neck to just break up the black. For my shoes, I have just added these crazy cool suede boots and they are actually meant to be over the knee like that but I really wanted to slouch them so I just shoved them down as much as I can. I saw a lot of boots that Zara is selling like this right now so I threw on my cognac trench and again I like that it's just breaking up all of the black that's happening and that is the final look. Let me know below which one was your favorite. So that concludes my thrifting Zara dupes video. I hope you guys were inspired by the six pieces I recreated and all of the looks inspired by Zara's styling. If you guys like this video, please comment, like, subscribe. And if you want more thrifty content, you can follow me on my Instagram at TaylorMadeStyle. And until next time, bye! bye.